one of the big issues you have in any training event that you go to within the university is trying to understand how something that's been said at a generic level applies to your subject. So whether we're talking about e-learning or feedback and assessment, it's when you're able to talk about this with colleagues in your own discipline that you get to understand how these things apply and how you might use them in your own teaching. An individual institution can only ever spend its resources in certain ways and it has to spread itself over the whole range of disciplines it offers. So the specifics around a subject area are more difficult for individual universities to deal with. Uh, the network allows people from different institutions with common problems to come together and to try and solve those common problems in a way that an individual institution in isolation couldn't necessarily do. It was an inspiration to see so many people truly committed to their teaching and to sort of promoting good best practice in higher education in the teaching of economics and that was very much an eye-opener for me in many ways to see how um, the academic community comes together to discuss these issues. From my own point of view, I think the most valuable thing has been the network, which has put me in touch with uh, other economists who are interested in learning and teaching and enhancing the quality of, of our learning and teaching within the discipline and finding new ways of uh, spreading the word of economics and, and good practice in, in economics teaching. It's a fantastic group of like-minded academics interested in teaching, developing use, really useful resources that actually benefit real lecturers on the ground, benefit real students. In terms of what the Economic Network actually does for us, it provides us with a mechanism where we can actually exchange ideas with people. And I think it's a great innovation. Um, it really allows people to develop, experiment, share good practice right across all the universities. It's important to academic staff uh, junior staff, for example, get a lot of training opportunities via the network. All of us get the opportunity to uh, interact with programs like the, uh, uh, the TRUE program, which um, uh, gives us uh, access to re uh, teaching materials, reading resources, etc. The subject centres have been extremely helpful in raising the profile of teaching and learning in the UK. They've generated in an immense wealth of useful materials uh, and because they're based in institutions and work with people uh, on the lecture room floor and in the seminar room, uh, it helps to connect meaningfully and impactfully on practice on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, we have our own um, sort of expert here in the sort of uh, generic sort of pedagogical uh, you know, area. And uh, they'll come down and uh, mention projects and, and ideas for doing some things, but you know, it doesn't really uh, help. Whereas in the economics network, I can actually um, go onto the website, get information, and contact people who have actually tried um, new ideas in the classroom in front of economic students. I think the real excitement for me being involved with the economics network is to share in the community of like minded economists who are enthused by by teaching and being able to, to transfer it to all the students. All the exciting stuff we've been learning in the last, well, 20, 30 years in the subject and be able to communicate that effectively. We learn a lot just from talking about the everyday problems of teaching. I learn a lot at these meetings. It's, when it comes to how to teach math, that's something we often discuss. At every meeting, I learn something new. It's, it's always been an issue that lecturers especially new lecturers, have to build a whole set of resources for their teaching. And if they can draw on the subject centre's range of resources, uh, their teaching will be that much richer. I think graduate teaching workshops and new lecturer workshops have really helped uh, the new lecturers and the graduate teaching assistants to settle into the economics community, to network effectively and to feel a little bit more comfortable about knowing that there are resources out there that can really help and support them in the new role that they have. The Economics Network has whole pages on resources, a wonderful handbook on teaching economics um, that I just wish I'd had when I started uh, teaching. Lots of meetings, lots of workshops with the network where you come away basically feeling much happier about your teaching, partly because you meet people with similar difficulties to you, but also people with the same enthusiasm for teaching. The Economics Network has been absolutely outstanding. Um, they've been a real help to me as a, a new 
teacher in the university. The years I've been with the EN have really had a huge impact on my teaching and in my academic experience. One of the best conferences I have ever been to in my life in terms of its uh, impact on my work was the one I attended in Cardiff th this year where I was able to meet with other people, to hear their activities, to meet the people at the center of the economics network who had been uh, people, electronic faces only, and in general uh, to learn things that we can adapt at LSE. I can see the network being really a driving force for further change across economics departments. We're also very keen at LSE to give back to the network, to organize things that the network can use. Uh, for example, uh, we're organizing an undergraduate uh, economics journal and we want, through the network, to get contributions from students all over Britain. Well, I think uh, the network has become a very valuable and a very valued member of uh, of the sort of of the of the the, the, the teaching side of, of economics in the UK, and not only in higher education institutions, but also I think uh, within schools. For me personally, it's uh, you know you can't replace what the economics network does with some sort of generic uh, centre. The one resource that you would not cut in a tight environment, public and, you know, funding environment, such as HEA is facing, or at least cut very little, uh, would be the subject centres. They seem to be the one unique resource uh, that you simply uh, don't want to see replicated across all the departments in the UK. The subject centres have tremendous credibility because they're run by academics. <coughs> um, and they are, I think, very difficult to replicate because of their discipline-specific nature. There is just no way in which individual departments could afford to engage in these kind of activities. The Economics Network has provided us with a, uh, you know, if you like, a roadmap and uh, innovation that would have never, ever been able to achieve individually. I believe that we, and this enables uh, British economics to do much better uh, than almost any other country because we are so much better networked. There's been massive changes in the way we teach economics, what's expected of us by our employers, by our students, by almost everybody that's in this game one way or the other. And if it wasn't for the economics network, there is no way that we could juggle all these responsibilities. I think that the network has gained the credibility and recognition uh, among the economics community, but I think it is just the, the, the starting point really in my opinion. New challenges arise and I've seen the way the economics network has sort of adapted to face those challenges and I'm pretty sure that um, its role will adapt with the changing needs and that's I think its greatest strength. I would like the economics network to make sure that it provides funding for workshops, for conferences, that allow people like me to uh, relate to other people within the UK. We tend to be a bit isolated here. I think uh, the next 10 years are really the years where the network can really flourish uh, and uh, really become a more and uh, more involved with departments and become more and more in influential. Well, I, I want to wish the Economic Subject Centre many congratulations on uh, its 10 year anniversary and I want to be able to come back in another 10 years and indeed in another 15 years to celebrate its 25th anniversary. Uh, so good luck and uh, you know, safe voyage into the future. <laughs>